Good morning and welcome back to Dead or Alive Kayaking. Uh, we're going to be uh, doing something a little bit different today. I have no idea if the fish are going to be biting. In the last week it's been 26 degrees, it's been 73 degrees, it's been sunny, it's been raining. Uh, today it's overcast, windy, uh, probably in the high 60s. Rained on me a little bit on the way over here, uh, but not raining right now. So uh, we're going to try them and, and see what we can do. I was out fishing yesterday, uh, didn't do anything, but uh, I got to thinking, I wonder, you know, what lure would perform better than, than another lure. So uh, today what I'm going to do is, is uh, time using each lure, like 15, 20 minutes or whatever, and we'll see which one catches fish or, or which ones catch fish and which ones don't. We're going to call this one a butter bean. It's a, uh, a little square bill suspending, got some rattles in it. Okay, so the rain has stopped for the time being. Our overcast looks like it's breaking up a little bit. The wind is not howling quite as bad as it was earlier. So uh, maybe we'll get out here and have a good day, whether we catch anything or not. Remember the first lure is going to be this little butter bean. And when I get up here where I'm going and start fishing, I'll, uh, I've got a 20 minute timer set on my phone. Okay, so here we go, 20 minutes. There's one on the board for the little butter bean lure. We're uh, going to be keeping fish today, too. Uh, I've said before, the, this lake, they prefer you to keep everything under 14. So there's that fish. He's not a bad start. Let's see where he runs. So he's like 12 and a half inches. That's it on that lure. Okay, H and H spinner bait, and we'll start the timer now. Twenty minutes. Got smack first cast out there. Oh, he came back for it. <laughs> a little bitty fella. But that's one for the H and H. that little submerged stump there and figured there'd be one right there at it. And there he was. There's another 
other one. Number four for the H and H. He hit it just about right under me. that one. Alright, and that's it for this one. Okay, so this time we've got a little tiny rattle trap or lipless crankbait. And uh, we're going to throw it and see what it does. As soon as I get up here where maybe the wind's not blowing hurricane strength. And I'll start the timer and we'll start fishing. Alright. Tiny little whip. I was hung up for a minute. Well, I'm glad lipless didn't get skunk there because uh, it's actually one of my favorite baits to use. Well, he's digging. All right, come here. There's one for the lipless bait. him. Okay, and that's it for the uh, lipless crankbait. Okay, so uh, We've got a little floating minnow. We're going to give it a shot and uh, reset the timer for 20 minutes. There's one. I was beginning to worry we was going to get skunked on this one. <laughs> right at the last minute. <laughs> so we didn't get skunked on the uh, on the minnow, but the fish wasn't much bigger than the bait. Here's that one. He's all of about six inches, five and a half, six inches.
Alright, next up is another one of my favorites, a little buzz bait. Let's see what it does for us. Yep, what I kept seeing is exactly what it looked like. There is a, uh, a little dead wood duck drake right there. And it looks like he was sitting upright when he died. Let's see if I can get this camera out. See him right in there. I kept seeing the colors from a from a distance, and I kept thinking that looked just like a little wood duck. But uh. I hate to see that. They are such pretty little animals. Let's see if I can get back out of here now. Like I said, he doesn't look like he was shot. He looks like he just died. Okay, as grassy as this bottom is, I don't know how well this is going to work, but this is a little bar body garland shad body uh, in monkey milk and a uh, eighth ounce pink jig head. good fish for him here. Fault hard. What the little monkey milk curly tail jig is on the board. There's that one. Right at the boat. He's a nicer fish than what we've been catching, too. There's him, probably 13 inches or so. That's it for a little curly tail. Alright, next up we'll try the old trusty beetle spin. This one is in a uh, kind of a different color, sort of a fire tiger. A little bit of orange, a little bit of chartreuse, a little bit of black. So we'll give it a throw. This is probably the best multi-species lure ever made. I have caught literally everything on uh, on beetle spins. So uh, we're 
we're going to call the uh, the H and H spinner bait the winner here, and I'm going to tie it back on and fish my way back over to the boat ramp. Okay, so that's us loaded up and ready to go. Uh, even kind of beat the rain in. It rained on me a little bit on the way back across the lake, but it quit, and, and uh, I was able to get here and get loaded up without getting soaked. So uh, I'll tally up which lure did the best. Uh, I, I know which one did the best. I'll tally up the numbers for each lure, and, uh, and I'll put those in the video. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Had a great time. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one.